Hello friends, welcome to KMV's channel. In today's video, we are going to take a brief look at McLafferty rearrangement. The McLafferty rearrangement is a very common occurrence when we have a carbonyl compound, nitrile, aromatic compound, alkene and alkyne with a specific structure. Let's start with the specific structure that can undergo McLafferty rearrangement. The general structure of a compound capable of undergoing McLafferty rearrangement can be represented like as where X is hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen or oxygen. Y is carbon, nitrogen or oxygen. X and Y can also be the part of an aliphatic or aromatic ring. This is a functional group. So, the carbon atom in the chain attached to it can be labeled as alpha, beta and gamma. This is gamma hydrogen which is very essential for McLafferty rearrangement. Thus, these compounds may be a gamma hydrogen containing aldehyde, ketone, emine, carboxylic acid, ester, amide, alkene, alkyl arene, alkyl heteroarene, etc. Mechanism of McLafferty rearrangement Let's take a carbonyl compound with this general formula for studying mechanism of McLafferty rearrangement. Label the alpha, beta and gamma carbons. In this compound, the most loosely bound electrons are the non-bonding electrons of carbonyl oxygen. So, when there is an electronic bombardment, one of the non-bonding electrons is knocked out to produce this radical cation, which is also called parentine. The gamma hydrogen is abstracted by the oxygen radical, during which pi bond is formed between the beta and gamma carbon by breaking bond between alpha and beta carbon and then breaking of pi bond of carbonyl leads to the generation of enolic radical cation and expulsion of an alkene. This radical cation is called McLafferty fragment. There is one more way of representing radical cation and finding McLafferty fragment. In this to draw the radical cation formed after the removal of one electron from the molecule, just draw original molecule, put an inverted L and then a radical and positive charge. Gamma proton abstraction, formation of pi bond between beta and gamma carbon, breaking up sigma bond between alpha and beta carbon and formation of pi bond between alpha and carbonyl carbon like this leads to the generation of McLafferty fragment and alkene. Here we can see that the McLafferty fragment which is a radical cation has been represented differently. Thus these are the two mechanisms for the generation of McLafferty fragment and its representation. You can choose any one you find better. Now let's discuss some examples with different functional groups. McLafferty rearrangement in aldehydes. Let's take the example of butanaldehyde. These are alpha, beta and gamma carbons. Here we can see that the gamma carbon is having hydrogen. We can reorient the molecule like as. Removal of non-bonding electron gives this radical cation also called parent ion. Abstraction of gamma hydrogen by the oxygen radical, formation of pi bond between the beta and gamma carbon by breaking of sigma bond between alpha and beta carbon and breaking of pi bond of carbonyl leads to the generation of McLafferty fragment and expulsion of ethylene molecule. The M by Z value of McLafferty fragment is 44. For our practice, let's try the fragmentation by second way we have just discussed. Removal of non-bonding electron will lead to the formation of radical cation that can be 
drawn by drawing the molecule as such and then putting an inverted L and then a radical and positive charge. Gamma proton abstraction, formation of pi bond between beta and gamma carbon, breaking up sigma bond between alpha and beta carbon and formation of pi bond between alpha and carbonyl carbon like this leads to the formation of McLafferty fragment and ethylene molecule. McLafferty rearrangement in ketones. Here we are taking the example of two hexanone. These are alpha, beta and gamma carbons. The gamma carbon has hydrogen. Now onwards I will be using second way of fragmentation as I find it easier. Removal of one electron from the molecule will give this radical cation which after McLafferty fragmentation like this will give enolic radical cation also called McLafferty fragment and propene molecule. The McLafferty fragment will have the m by z value of 58. This is an example of cyclic ketone with gamma hydrogen in alkyl side chain. Removal of one electron from the molecule will give radical cation which after McLafferty fragmentation like this will give another radical cation which is nothing but the radical cation of enolic form of cyclopentanone and 2-methylpropene. The m by z value of this radical cation will be 84. 1-phenylbutanone as we can see that it also has gamma hydrogen. Removal of one electron will give radical cation which undergoes McLafferty fragmentation like this to produce enolic radical cation and ethylene gas. The m by z value of McLafferty fragment will be 120. McLafferty rearrangement in carboxylic acid. Here we are taking the example of pentanoic acid. It is having gamma hydrogen. Removal of one electron from the molecule gives parent radical cation which undergoes McLafferty fragmentation like this to produce another radical cation and propene molecule. The m by z value of this radical cation is 60. 2-chlorobutanoic acid. This is also having gamma hydrogen. Removal of one electron from the molecule gives parent radical cation which undergoes McLafferty fragmentation like this to produce radical cation and ethylene molecule. This radical cation will show two peaks at m by z value of 94 and 96 with intensity ratio of 3 is to 1 because there is one chlorine atom in it and the relative abundance of two isotopes of chlorine 37 and 35 is 3 is to 1. McLafferty rearrangement in esters. Let's take the example of methyl pentanoate. It is having gamma hydrogen. Removal of one electron will give radical cation which after McLafferty fragmentation like this will give McLafferty fragment and propene molecule. Here the m by z value of McLafferty fragment is 74. McLafferty rearrangement in amides. Let's take the example of pentanamide. It's having gamma hydrogen. Removal of one electron will give radical cation which after McLafferty fragmentation like this will give McLafferty fragment and propene molecule. Here the m by z value of the McLafferty fragment is 59. An amide with an alkyl substituent at nitrogen having a hydrogen atom at the carbon gamma to the carbonyl group can also undergo McLafferty rearrangement. For example N propyl propenamide. Here we can see that the alkyl group attached to the carbonyl 
has only alpha and beta carbon while the alkyl amine group attached to the carbonyl has alpha beta and gamma atoms and gamma carbon is having hydrogen atom removal of one electron from the molecule will give parent radical cation which will undergo McLafferty fragmentation like this to produce this McLafferty fragment and butene molecule. The M by Z value of McLafferty fragment is 73. McLafferty rearrangement in nitriles. Nitriles with gamma hydrogen also undergo McLafferty rearrangement. For example, pentane nitrile. It has gamma hydrogen, so removal of one electron from it will give a radical cation which after McLafferty rearrangement like this will give another radical cation and propene. The M by Z value of this radical cation will be 41. McLafferty rearrangement in alkyl benzene. When the alkyl group attached to the benzene ring has gamma hydrogen, the molecule can undergo McLafferty fragmentation like the way we have discussed. Here, I am taking butyl benzene as an example to study this fragmentation. Since we are going to have this example for the first time, so I would like to discuss both the mechanism of fragmentation. Here, we can see that it is having gamma hydrogen. Removal of one pi electron will give parent radical cation. Removal of gamma hydrogen by radical, formation of pi bond between beta and gamma carbon and breaking of alpha beta sigma bond will lead to the formation of radical cation also called McLafferty fragment and propene molecule. The M by Z value of the McLafferty fragment will be 92. In second mechanism, the parent radical cation formed by the removal of one electron can be shown like as. Now, McLafferty fragmentation like this will give McLafferty fragment with M by Z value of 92 and propene molecule. Similarly, in 2-butyl pyridine, removal of one electron gives parent radical cation which undergoes McLafferty fragmentation like this to produce McLafferty fragment with M by Z value of 93 and propene molecule. McLafferty rearrangement in alkenes. Alkenes with gamma hydrogen also undergo McLafferty rearrangement. For example, 2-methylhexene. As we can see that it has gamma hydrogen, so removal of one electron from it will give radical cation, which after McLafferty fragmentation like this, will give McLafferty fragment as a radical cation and propene molecule. The M by Z value of this radical cation will be 56. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.